The last time we were under here, at least from this angle, we were taking out the, uh, the axle tubes for the uh, transmission. We're going to begin the uh, preparation to take the engine out. There is one engine support, a lower support here, uh, directly behind the oil pan, and it's a 16 millimeter uh, bolt that we've got here to, to do, and it's probably torqued on pretty good. And there we go. And the rest of this is just a kind of a long bolt. The engine is hanging up on top, uh, fairly balanced, so it may move a little bit and it'll, it'll scare me, but don't, don't mind me. And the engine comes out of balance. It may move a little. There we go. You saw a little wiggling engine there. Now it's just supported from the two top brackets, one on the transmission side, one on the engine side. We're going to have to uh, get up above it and support it with a uh, cherry picker, loosen those two, and then uh, wiggle the engine out of its supports. Now we've got our uh, mounts for our uh, hoist here, our engine hoist. You can see we've got our hoist in place. We've also uh, located the two uh, points here. One is this point right here. We've got an eye, a, a eye hook in there and our chain is just kind of cinched up. We want to make sure that everything's uh, working good and our pressure stays good in our, in our hydraulic jack here in our uh, engine uh, hoist. And around the other side here is the hoist point. It's actually on the transmission. So we've run a uh, another big uh, S hook through there and now we've got that uh, we've got that just just taut and again we're just checking the uh, make sure that our hydraulic system is, is not going to fail that it's going to be able to hold the engine so it's just got a tiny load uh, and it seems to be working just fine so we're about ready to uh, remove the engine. Now we've got a 18 millimeter socket here we found a BMW uh, Mini seems to love 16 millimeter and 18 millimeter ones you normally don't have in your toolbox uh, so if you work on one of these, you're going to need them. We're just going to loosen this up right now. This is, again, this is the top, uh, the engine mount here for the engine. Um, we've already released the lower mount. This is just kind of sitting in it. So we're going to have to lower the other side on the transmission side. And we'll have to raise this side a little bit to, uh, to hopefully to wiggle this thing out of here. All right, now we're on the transmission side. Got our 18 millimeter in here and we're going to uh, start to loosen this. It's going to drop the engine, but we've got it taut. Um, we know that we're good over here. And we do want the engine to drop a little. I'm not quite sure how much. It seems to be supported fairly well. And we're just going to give it a little, give it a little jack because we are actually lifting the car if you notice here. So we know that we're good. And to lower this a little until the body stops moving. And there we go. So we've got that side off. Going to have some fluids here. And then we're going to lift the other side and we're going to let you see how that happens. Great. All right. Well, now Kirk's coming from behind the camera here and you can see we're dripping some fluids out, which is a good sign. This released here, uh, the engine is just being held on by that, uh, actually the engine side mount. We're going to go ahead and lift it a little and see if we can get the entire engine up off of that mount. And have we cleared it? Yes. All right. So now we're going to begin our journey out of here if we can, making sure we're not connected to anything hooked on to anything. They look pretty good. And just checking once more here. 
There we go. Little plugs and wires and all kinds of stuff. And we're looking nice. Let me drop it a little bit. Had problems with this if you a little hydraulic fluid. Had to make sure that our jack worked, our hoist. Okay, so we've dropped it a little. And be careful of yourself there. Let's uh let's see if we can rotate it a little bit. Come on over there. See if we can. There we go. If you can hold it like that, Kirk. How are we coming? Are we stuck on things? Nope. Not really, huh? All right, we're looking, looking pretty good. Let's And if you can, can you rotate it a little there. Okay, I'm gonna I have to come straight out a little bit more. I'm just gonna drop it a little more here. That looks like the trick, huh? How's that? Maybe drop a little more. There we go. There we go. Oh. And look at that. We've been looking at this all day. Yeah. All right. We got the slave cylinder. For the clutch. We're going to go ahead and release that and then uh, show you the rest of the engine coming out. Okay, and we did find that the uh, there was a line from the slave cylinder. We got the 99, it's a 1% that got us there, so don't forget that there is a slave cylinder and it obviously is not on the, uh, probably is on the engine and transmission removal as a unit, but uh, I missed it. So we're just going to roll this thing out of here. Well, there you go. There is the N12 engine from a 2009 Mini Cooper Clubman uh, extracted from its recent home, ripped out so to speak. A little, little blue fluid, a little hydraulic fluid, uh, some, you know, not much. Nobody's worse for the wear, uh, no injuries, and we're all, uh, we're all looking good and very excited to move on. But there is the engine transmission that we're going to be pulling separating the engine from the transmission. The bell housing is at this point right here. This transmission is going to be uh, sent off uh, to a, uh, a BMW and Mini Cooper race shop along with our, uh, our MESDEA motor. All right, now that we've got the engine and transmission removed, we're going to have to detach the engine and the transmission. Before we do that though, because we are going to be sending this off, we're going to go ahead and take off the, uh, the tra top transmission mount. We're going to go ahead and take off the, um, this is the, the holder for the two uh, shift cables. This was one that uh, held the, um, the line to the slave cylinder. Um, I'm not, we're not quite sure yet if we're going to be taking off the uh, linkage, but we've got a, a seven millimeter, 10 millimeter, and a, uh, and a 13 millimeter here. And what we're just going to do is just loosen these guys up. I mean, they're not, I mean, they're torqued on, but it's not that big of a deal. And we're just gonna go ahead and loosen them all up and uh, not make a big production out of all of this. And this one, we're gonna do the same. He's probably, this one's probably torqued on a little bit better. Make sure we don't pull the engine over on us. And one more 13 millimeter here. Just 
go ahead and take these out. And then we're gonna put the, all the bolts back in the holes so that we know where they came from. But we are going to take off the mounts because it'll just be more things that our guys are gonna have to deal with at the shop. Um, and if they need a mount like this, I'm sure that they have one when they're, uh, when they're working on the transmission because they're gonna have to be taking it apart anyway uh, to put the, uh, put the quaff differential in. And we'll just put those screws in. Same thing over here. I don't know how long these 